Today we're going to demonstrate how our concrete sealer works. Silvering concrete sealer was designed not to change the look of the concrete and to protect the concrete from many other things that happen to it, like weather, damage, humidity, mold, melding, and things of that sort. Right here what we have is a demonstrated piece of concrete that we have created to show uh, the capabilities of the product. The first thing to notice is that the concrete itself does not have a shine to it. Our product is right now protecting the area. This part of the concrete is not protected. The bottom part of this concrete, it is protected. So as we pour water on it, you will be able to notice that the water goes from the dry, the, the non-protected side. So you can see the water does have even flow or roll down this uh, incline type piece of concrete. It's just basically soaking into the concrete and when it freezes and it gets cold, that water that's soaked in is actually going to freeze in there and damage our concrete. So if the concrete has any weak areas, it'll start spalling, pitting, and you know all those familiar things that happen with winter. So as we put more water on it, we will also notice that the water flows down the concrete itself. And you notice that the moment it reaches the sealed side of the, of the area, the concrete merely changes color. So as you can see right here, uh, you can tell where the line starts and ends of the sealed and unsealed concrete. Pretty distinctive type demonstration right there. So, in summary, let's just look at this. One, the concrete does not change the look of it. It stays looking the same, so all the safety capabilities remain with the concrete. There is no slippery surface, there's no shiny surface. Second, by protecting the water from getting into the concrete, we're protecting all the damage that happens with winter. As you can see here, the water penetrated the concrete, did not penetrate the concrete, it just basically slid right out through it in that area. So if, as we dry this, you will notice that there was very little water to dry here because it's now all in the concrete. Here the water is basically sitting on the surface of the concrete. What does that benefit to you? Well, if you're in a warm environment where the concrete gets humid, wet all the time, uh, and this area is going to develop what we call mold, meld, it's going to get dark, it's going to get dirty, it's going to be hard to keep it clean and looking good. And this side here, what's going to happen is, because the water is not penetrating in the concrete, it's going to actually stay fairly clean, easy to clean up. If anything happens, will be surface in the area. In other areas, like for example, in the uh, Midwest and Northern States, what happens here, this is what really damages concrete. The water will go in the concrete, freeze inside of it, expand, and break the surfaces and create all kinds of problems. Here, the, the, con the water is going to be on the surface, it's going to be easy to dry, and the water is not going to penetrate, so there's less likelihood of the concrete getting damaged. Second thing to know is also that here, the snow, you actually have to shave it off the concrete because it's embedded half into the concrete, half on the surface. Here, the snow will be just sitting on top of it, and it would be very easy just to slide it off. Then again, we avoid the damage to the concrete by trying just to remove the ice. If you use any kind of the ice or snow metal things, here, the salts are going to penetrate your concrete. Here, the salts are going to stay on the surface of the concrete itself. So this is just to summarize some of the things that the product does for you. Very simple application.